A few years ago, I uh, decided I wanted to get back in the dating game. My husband had died, and uh, I thought, well, it's about time I need to do that. So one of the first things, as a lot of young ladies here can uh, attest to, is the fact that you go to your friends. Do you have any uh, single guys that you would like to, you know, introduce and everything like that? Um, and this is a story sort of about the phases of my wandering back into the dating game. So you can decide whether I was lucky or unlucky. Uh, the, my girlfriend in, um, introduced me via telephone to a gentleman friend of hers who happened to be in law enforcement. And I said to her, I said, you know, I'm really shy about this sort of thing. Um, let me just, you give him my number, I'll give him, you know, you give him my number, um, we'll exchange, you know, we'll talk, okay? So talking went on for about three weeks and everything, and we decided at one point, okay, we're ready to meet. I felt comfortable with him, he's in law enforcement, I Googled him, you know, I knew what he looked like. I knew he was a pretty stand-up guy, so it was no problem. Um, Unfortunately, um, the, next, the week that we were supposed to meet, there was an article in the paper that um, the law enforcement um, division that he was um, connected to had a little minor scandal, and apparently he was involved in it. <laughs> so <laughs> there went that. <laughs> um, not sure if he's in witness protection or not now, but <laughs> there went that. Then there was the next phase of my dating, um, trying to date anyway, let's put it that way, uh, was the online dating. Now people of my age were n are not real comfortable with that, but okay, I got my daughter and her fiance to try to you know, set up my profile, and, um, which I thought was pretty good, but apparently something in the profile said, you are as dumb as a stone because I would get the guys who would be outside of my preferred distance radius, like Las Vegas, and they would, you know, they would e instant message me, oh, baby, you look so beautiful. Um, you know, I mean, really? You're going to start out with a line like that, you know? Um, and oh, by the way, could you um, give me, uh, here's my phone number and my email address, email me or phone me. I'm not really on Match.com, but I'd like to talk to you. I'm like, really? I'm that dumb that I would give you my information so you could scam me. Thank you very much. Okay, so the next phase, and I, this, is, this, was, this was a real winner for me for somebody that was just getting back out there. I joined a dating service. The big draw with the dating service is that you go in there, they, I was, no word of a lie, was in an interview for two hours. They take your picture, they take your financial information, every bit of information that you had. And the purpose is, so you're not a serial killer, the guy's not a serial <laughs> killer, you're not, he's not a rapist or a child molester, and you're not a gold digger. So they, they confirm, and they background check everything. I'm good to go, and it's um, and 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 the uh, drawing card also is that a lot of the people that join this dating service are professionals, which I happen to be one. So, like I said, judge if I'm lucky or unlucky. <laughs> the deal there was, they give the guy your number, they give you his number, you call, set up a lunch meeting or a dinner meeting, whatever. And then if you want to meet again, then everything goes from there. Great, sounds good. First guy we call, he called me up, um, talked real, uh, you know, and, and I have to preface this by saying, everybody I talked to were very nice people. And it just, I don't know, just didn't work out. First guy calls me up. We set up a time to meet and everything. Two days later, he calls me back. <gasps> <gasps> Uh, Tanya, what, what, who's it, who is this? Oh, this is so-and-so. I'm in the hospital. <laughs> what happened? 
I fell and, and broke three ribs. <laughs> How'd you do that? And I have to preface this by saying by, that one of the things that I put down in my inter intake interview was that I do want somebody healthy. <laughs> the one, I fell, I fell because he had taken some medication and caused him to fall. Consequently found out that he also, after he did that, slipped on some ice in his kitchen, broke his ankle, and while he was recovering from the broken ankle, slipped in the shower and broke his finger. <laughs> when we finally met, finally met, we decided we like camping and hiking and all that good stuff, and he says, but I can't hike anymore because they think I had a stroke. <laughs> so, one quick, one quick one as well. Another gentleman I met, he had buried his wife very recently. I'm sorry if you can't wait till your wife is cold in the ground to start dating something. There's a clue there. Good. Bing, 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 bing. Oh. It, it was, like I said, you be the judge. The last, the last um, comment I want to make, my daughter apparently was so sick of hearing about me and these obviously failed dates that she actually went up to a gentleman in the eagle's nest where her and her husband, or her and her fiance rather, were having dinner, saw this nice looking gentleman, introduced herself to this gentleman and asked him to tell her about himself because she had a mother who was, would like to get back in the dating scene. <laughs> I'm like, seriously, thank you for the birthday present because it was around my birthday at that point in time, but you just pimped your mother out. <laughs> what is up with that? You be the judge.